Hey everybody, welcome back to Riley's unedited Let's Play Hellscape. Let's fucking play more Kirby. Why does it feel like the game is quieter than last time I played? I haven't changed the volume at all. Can eat flour. Flour cannot be consumed. Um. Ah. Okay. Okay. All right. Come on. I'm just trying to fix my screen here. Ah. Oh shit! There we go, I just have to go down. Fancy. Treasure! What'd I get? Found the dime. Also, I have to see how this recording is. I think I had my mic louder. Like, by accident. And I put it back to the normal volume. I don't know how long that's been an issue. It seems like I'm peaking less. But that also scares me into thinking I'm too quiet. Oh, there's the door. The magic door. <laughs> ah, fuck! Ah, I didn't get to the mute button in time, I'm sorry. People don't need to hear me sneeze and shit. Alright, let's continue our cave odyssey. There's three different doors, huh? Shit! Alright, well that one was simple enough. I got the goblet. The goblet of fire?! What?! Okay. Man, that JK Rowling woman. I think JK Rowling is the number one uh the number one indicator of why women just need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> God damn. Man, my, my words really are going to come back to bite me someday. I I just want to make it absolutely clear in this let's play that nobody will ever watch that anything I've said about minorities and women <laughs> and the like I'm dead okay anyway anything I've said about minorities and women and other shit I've never meant a word of it and I feel like there are people who probably genuinely don't understand that I feel like the nuance of like dark comedy is lost upon the masses and that's not even me I guess it is kind of me complaining but like I do, I do wish people would be less sensitive. Like, I make these jokes about women and minorities and other topics that people should joke about, quote-unquote, according to society. No! The treasure fell. Will it reset if I go to the door? Whoa! Let me try going to the door and back. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see the reception on the largest issue that's going to come out. Um, I don't know if it'll be out by the time this airs. Will it? Yes, yes, it will. Because this will come out on uh, Saturday. And largest issue will have come out on Thursday. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Because fucking Andrew talked about the WNBA. And it just turned into who could make the funniest joke about women. I got the saucepan. <laughs> wow, all that for a fucking saucepan. I 
I don't even think I've ever made it this far at Great Cave Offensive before. Okay, so I gotta go up. Figure out how I can turn off the current. We get yo-yo power. Yeah! Kirby with the upside down hat looking slick as fuck, boy! But yeah, I didn't mean for this to become the fucking disavow hour, but like... I just want it to be, like, known. Like, I want to say it somewhere. I feel like by saying it on, like, largest issue, I break, like, this sort of kayfabe. But, you know, Riley's unedited Let's Play Hellscape is kind of just my stream of consciousness. You know, nothing nothing but the truth here. I have no reason to lie. Um, and it's like... Yeah, I just think dark comedy is fucking funny. Like, I... I think that all humans should be treated equally. And I don't think that that should be an idea that people oppose. And the fact that it is makes me fucking hate humanity. And the only way I could cope with such things is with this humor. Because I, I think it's a farce. That's why it's so funny to me. Because it's so farcical. Like, it's really funny to say shit about, like, women and minorities and, like, other shit. Other dark humor. Because it's not true. And it's, like, so absurd. And what makes it... Fuck! I'm bad at video games. What makes it the funniest of all is that people really do believe it. And there's just... There's something about that. Something about that really speaks to me. <laughs> that you know there are people out there who make these jokes and mean them, like, with utter sincerity. And those people get away with it. Or no, they don't get away with it, but nobody gets away with it, you know what I mean? It's like, the people who are just- who don't mean anything by it go down because of the people that do. Y you know, I'm- I'm phrasing it in a fucking stupid way, but it's like... Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore at this point. I got, like, weird and deep, and I've- I've, I've escaped my own mind at this point. I'm- I'm having an out-of-body experience as I explain dark comedy. Give him my yo-yo power! You son of a bitch! Alright, we can't let this happen again. We gotta chill. Ooh. Max tomato. Yep. And right, we got it this time, boys. Okay. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I know what they're gonna do. I know how they're gonna do- Okay. So it's gonna send me back and I'm gonna have to get the treasure at a moment's notice or I'm fucked. This is interesting level design. I'm into this. There's the treasure. There it is! Get it! Yeah! Okay. I'm into this. Can I get healed in this room? Hell yeah! Well! We did a cool... What's in this room? Let's check it out. Boomerang? Oh, it's just Cutter. I was like, is there a boomerang power?
Well, all right, gamers. This is a good one. I got on a weird diatribe about dark humor. Um, join us next time for more Kirby. Bye!